Uh, we sure do. Thank you. Uh, Angela Jo Thalza Medina. Did I even pronounce it? Please correct me. Angela Jo Thalza Medina. Um, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak before you today. Um, my name is Angela Jo Thalza Medina, and I am the uh, Vice Chair of the Commission on Immigrant Affairs. I come before you today to draw attention to two recommendations made by the Commission on Immigrant Affairs. The first of these recommendations is 2013-1014-005C regarding the provision of services to the immigrant community within and the approval of immigrant services related contracts for the City of Austin's social service investment portfolio. With 18% of the City of Austin and Travis County's residents being foreign born and since it is within the purview of the Commission on Immigrant Affairs pursuant to Section 2-1 125 of the City Code to advise on issues of common concern to immigrants, particularly in the area of health and human services, we recommend that immigrant services, including but not limited to English as a second language, immigration law clinics, citizenship classes, culturally competent and linguistically appropriate health and human services, and translation interpretation to improve non-English, non-Spanish speaking population access to services be included in the selection criteria for viable services to be offered within the social service investment portfolio. Further, we want this commission to know that we, the Commission on Immigrant Affairs, are available as resources to be engaged to speak to and inform the approval of contract monies to fund immigrant related social service investments. With the recent September 19, 2013 launch of the Economic Development Office's Austin Welcoming City Initiative, and as we become an increasingly international community, our international residents cannot and should not fall beneath the radar as they are a source of diversity, cultural richness, and economic opportunity. On that note, please be on the lookout for a uh, forthcoming recommendation proposal to hold an immigrant stakeholder conference. This would be similar to efforts carried out in other welcoming cities around the country and is a goal we would engage in, I'm sorry, and the goal would be to engage the community in defining Austin's vision for itself as a welcoming community. This recommendation builds upon the framework provided in recommendation 2013-1014-005B, which requested monies and space to hold Austin's first immigrant affairs conference. I have provided a copy of both of these documents for your uh, reference. Barring any questions, that's all. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ms. Medina. Um, I think that poses a good point. I don't know, is, is there anything in our scoring matrix or at least in the information that we received from proposers that specifically speaks to whether or not uh, or the, the communities they're impacting, regardless of whether they're immigrants or not? Uh, yes, there is. I met with, um, I, I'm not, she just said her name, but I. Angela. Angela. <laughs> I met with her um, and and, and she and I discussed her concerns. And one of the things that, that we had a, a very good um, conversation and, I, and I'm really glad I was able to, to meet with her. And so we were able to, as we were looking at um, kind of finishing up the process, we were able to um, incorporate a few things. One of the things is, is that um, we are gonna ask agencies um, to describe how they would um, basically, um, from the class standards, which is the culturally and linguistically appropriate services standards that um, the health department is, is moving toward, is to ensure that all services are culturally appropriate, that there's not a language barrier, and that there's an outreach program in place that how you're gonna be able to get the information out about how you can address that population. So that is crafted within the RFA document. 